Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome, one and all, to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Always a pleasure to be here. Hope you're feeling and doing all right. The month of September has been, I say without exaggeration, probably the most enthralling month ever as far as fast food releases and just the sheer enthusiasm that you're seeing from the general public for them is concerned. It's unbelievable. Every item that I get, I think to myself, how can this one even be topped? But somehow it just happens. And Taco Bell, they're pushing the limits. They are pushing the absolute limit as to what is even possible as far as a burrito is concerned. Are you ready? I, th I, think, I think we are ready this time, so let's get into it. This time around, Taco Bell is releasing for a limited time their new chicken enchilada burrito, and here's what it has to it. Grilled chicken, seasoned rice, a zesty red sauce, a three cheese blend, and that three cheese blend, should I add, consists of mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, and Monterey Jack cheese, and it has sour cream on it. So the chicken enchilada burrito from Taco Bell, and it is available at the price of $2 just for the burrito itself. And this is one of those items, now all sorts of uh, exaggerating and sarcasm aside, uh, this is one of those items that's, uh, I would say, essentially to be expected from Taco Bell at this point. And if you're a frequent Taco Bell consumer, uh, then you've seen these sorts of things a million times before, where they'll take the various ingredients, they'll repackage it, they'll give it a, a, a new name, and then they'll put it on their menu at a generally fair price. And I would say that for this uh, sort of burrito, the $2 price is fair especially factoring in inflation and all of that. And, you know, you see from so many other establishments and even certain items in Taco Bell, items that would be just a couple bucks a few years ago are now much more expensive. So the fact that this is still $2, uh, that's always encouraging to see. But again, now you have to ask the question, when the price remains low, is it just because it's a good deal or is the quality being sacrificed for the price? And that's what I'm going to find out in today's review. Uh, but again, these sorts of burritos, they release these quite frequently. So this is the latest that they have. Uh, I should also add that for a limited time, they have also brought back the rolled chicken tacos, but I've tried those out like five times. So I thought may as well just try out this burrito instead. I also got some Baja Blast with it. It is a little watered down, but I do like the... I always like the clear cup. From the outside, these sorts of burritos are always difficult to... Uh, distinguish from one another, because as you can see, it's just a tortilla. Nothing really crazy about it. Looks like a regular innocent burrito at this point in time. Nothing seeping through or anything like that. Taking a look at the size of the burrito, if we are to compare it, it's a fair-sized burrito, I would say, you know, especially for $2, you can't really complain there. So what I am going to do now, because again, I think we know the ingredients, I think we know what there is to this burrito. It's got the chicken, the rice, the sour cream, the red sauce, and the three cheese blend. So pretty basic. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to pause the camera for a moment, and then 
I'm going to cut it in half uh, because that's what I always prefer to do these days when I try out the burritos. Just cut it in half, get that good cross section, so you can really see what it is composed of. And then I'll try it out just right from the middle, also to get the most accurate flavor profile. So I'll be right back, and uh, it'll be, of course, an instantaneous cut on your end, but you will see now the burrito in half. I am pleased to say the operation was a success. You can now see, right here, the half burrito. I'm actually doing it the old school way. I'm taking the thumbnail shots for the video while you can see the cross section. Because the thumbnails are important. And uh, again, you could really see in there the uh, chicken, you could see the red sauce, some of the cheese, some of the rice. Can't really see the sour cream. That's what the one side of it looks like. This is what the other side looks like. All right, and with that, now that you can see what it looks like, you can see what there is to it. You know what's in it. We all know what's in it. I will try it out and see what it tastes like, see if it's any good or not. The chicken enchilada burrito from Taco Bell is going in. I'm already uh, a little disappointed, but I know some people are gonna say it's a $2 burrito. What exactly do you expect? I'll, I'll get there in a moment. I'll take another bite or two, but I'm already a little let down, and I'll tell you why. You know, for the sake of fairness, I'm going to take a bite of this side, just to see, and uh, then I'll, I'll get to my, my problem, and then that'll be that. I'm right, just going to take a quick bite here. So, when I have problems with various items, and sometimes those problems are right off the bat, I might have even a major objection, and it doesn't always necessarily mean that it's because the item tastes bad, you know, it doesn't mean that the item is necessarily uh, disgusting or vile or anything like that uh, for there to be a, a legitimate and potentially serious grievance. This is one of those cases. So, I'll ask you this, all right? Take a look at the cross-section here. Is there anything you notice right now? Kind of, everything blends together a little bit, right? But, you know, take a look at that. You can see the inside of the burrito. Take a look at this side, too. So here's the problem, and this is a common 
Taco Bell issue, but it's always one that I, you could call it what you want. I am always going to raise this problem when I see it. What's the name of this? The Chicken Enchilada Burrito. Where is the chicken? That's, that's the problem. You know, if you're getting this, we, we're not even going to pretend like no one is getting this for any other reason. People are getting this because it has the chicken in it. You're getting it for the meat and how the meat is going to blend with all of the other flavors. You aren't going to be going out of your way to get this item just to see how the seasoned rice and the red sauce tastes together. Sure, in conjunction with the chicken, that's one thing. They don't call this the rice and red sauce with a little cheese and sour cream enchilada burrito. It's the chicken enchilada burrito. Bite after bite, I take. This side, there wasn't any chicken in it whatsoever. There was none. There was no chicken in this at all. Every single bite that I took is just globs of rice, red sauce, that are uh, kind of held together by the cheese with a little bit of the sour cream on the side there. And on this side, there's a microscopic, tiny, tiny little piece, it's about this small, of grilled chicken that you can barely even taste. Sure, it might be a $2 burrito. People might be saying, it's $2, review bra. What exactly do you expect? How about basic quality? How about just even the most basic amount of chicken in this? Not a tiny little microscopic piece of chicken completely drowned out by all the rice and the red sauce. If they're going to name this the chicken enchilada burrito, I would at least expect some chicken. So that's the disappointing thing about this. When you're going into this and that key core component isn't even there, that's a real letdown. You know, I bite in and yeah, I could taste all that rice. It's the seasoned rice, the red sauce is zesty. You know, it most, most definitely is. And uh, it pairs nicely, you know, the red sauce, I would say that is a nice, it's a nice addition. There's a good amount of it, I think as you can clearly see. It pairs nicely with the rice, the three cheese blend, the sour cream. Yeah, it works together. There's a lot of liquids in here, but you know, they were able to moderate it out to the extent uh, that it's not like some soggy, uh, waterlogged mess, as sometimes is the case with Taco Bell. And I give them my compliments for that. That's actually, that's a, that's a good thing. That's a step in the right direction. But when you're getting that, I guess at the cost of there being practically no meat in this, I find that terribly disappointing. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to attempt anyway to unravel this. And let's see if we could spot any chicken in here at all. Let's see. I'll do that. And then what the heck, let's go all out. Let's, let's unravel this too. You know, it's so disappointing when this happens. It's just a real, real letdown. Okay. So, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. On this side, that's the one piece of chicken that I could really see right there. Otherwise, it's just all rice. Over here, there's a little bit more. There's, you know, a piece right there. And that's about it. So, that's my problem. This is one of those items that, again, 
the combination is fine. The combination, as far as the quality of the item is concerned, is pleasant. And I guess that's what actually makes it most frustrating in my case. Uh, these are probably some of the most frustrating types of items I've reviewed, because as you try it out, you see the potential. You see the fact that if done correctly, this could be a darn good item right here. But there needs to be probably three times as much chicken in this uh, than what I received. These tiny little blocks. So disappointing when you see that. This isn't the first time it's happened. And again, yeah, people were going to say, oh, it's 2023, what do you expect? It's Taco Bell, what do you expect? It's a $2 burrito, what exactly do you expect? I understand, this is Taco Bell, this is fast food. Yeah, this is a $2 burrito. But I just expect still a little better. And I emphasize that because there was indeed a time when this wouldn't be a problem. When there would be items at this price where the quality was even just a little bit better. That's all that I ask. I just ask for something that already even existed. A standard that had been in place for years. Just go back to that and then everything is fine. You know, so it's not some sort of unrealistic uh, fantasy or anything. I just wish that that portion was slightly larger. Because otherwise you get this, and there's barely any chicken, there's pretty much, it's just rice. Mouthful after mouthful of rice. And uh, if there were more chicken, this would again be a really uh, darn good burrito. But the fact that the ingredients were uh, skimped on, for lack of a better word, is disappointing. Something you see all too often with not just Taco Bell, a lot of establishments do it at this point. I get it, but I don't like it, and when I see it, uh, you better believe I'm going to call it out. I'm not going to complacently sit there and say, this is great, this is the best thing I've ever had, and I'm so thankful that there's this little microscopic morsel of, of chicken here. I'm not asking for the world, I'm just asking for uh, how it's supposed to be, how it's even portrayed uh, in the advertisements, what folks think that they're going to be getting. Just a little more. That's all that I ask. So, I'm disappointed. It has potential. If you really want this, I would recommend... Look, it's just $2. Go out and get it. And it, it'll, it'll cost you a little bit more, but ask for extra chicken on this. It'll save, it'll save you the hassle. And then, guess what? You'll either then get the amount of chicken, as intended or maybe a little bit more, and it's going to be a darn good burrito. So I will say this. If this burrito had an actually decent amount of chicken thereon, uh, this would probably be getting, I would say, at least like an 8.4 out of 10 from me, because it would be very flavorful, it would work out great, and, uh, and that's great to see. So if you get it with that extra chicken, I think you're going to like it a lot. In my case, based on what I received, where it's just mouthful after mouthful of rice and almost no meat, I would rate the burrito that I received a 3 out of 10, when the most important ingredient is practically absent from this. And that's unacceptable, in my opinion. So, be wary of that. You see this a lot. It's just $2.00. If you want to get it, I implore you to get it with the extra chicken. And then you're going to be good to go, it's going to be all set, and I think you're going to have a awfully fine burrito. Uh, but in my case, I got what I got. I don't like it. It's a shame that it had to happen. All right, on to the next. May the next item be a bit better, hopefully. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host. The report of the week.